we are here with, please tell us, please tell you, tell us your name. Sure, my name is Warren Zobert. Hi. Uh, Hi, Warren. What is it that you do? I'm the creative director of Hawaii Business Magazine. Oh, fantastic. So tell us about, tell us a little bit about your background and how you came to work at Hawaii Business Magazine. Okay, well, I have a um, you know, degree in graphic design. Um, I got my first job out of college at uh, another business publication here. Uh, and then very quickly, I moved on to uh, Pacific Basin Communications, which is a parent company of Honolulu Magazine, et cetera. Um, and then I went specifically into uh, HB, Hawaii Business. I've um, been here for about a year and a half, or maybe closer to two years, and I love doing it. I love doing magazines. What's a day in the life of a, of a creative director for a magazine? Well, it can be anything from a... So basically, the process, we get Word docs, Word documents, which we're all familiar with, that's how the articles come to us, and then um, we, as a, the design team, have to figure out how to take that word doc and turn it into a, a, a story. It could be a cover story, or it could be a story for the internet. Um, but figuring out how to amplify the content of that story visually. So, what is what do you think is the sort of most exciting um, exciting story you've ever done, or the one that made you most excited visually in terms of uh, what you got to do? Well, our let's see. In the May issue, which is what we're currently working on, um, we have a piece on underground economies in Hawaii. Which oh, so interesting! Yeah. Oh, please tell us about that. Um, well, it's it. I think we're going to be able to get into a little more uh, unsavory territory than than Hawaii business typically uh, covers or steps into. So, you know, a little bit of uh, uh, the criminal underworld will be will be tapped for interviews and sources. So it's a little heavier story than we're. We're used to running, and I'm kind of, uh, you know, excited about the contrast there. We're we're coming off of a couple of like celebratory, re- really positive issues and articles, so I'm I'm looking forward to doing a deeper dive into something a little seedier, you know. Um, so I I think we could only be talking about uh, things like trafficking, be it trafficking trafficking of drugs, trafficking of people, trafficking of of animals or or protected materials or even just um, you know sort of underworld in particular but one thinks about the sex trade here something we don't talk about a lot of these type of topics we're talking about I believe some of that's in there um, and more <laughs> I don't know exactly what's still being written so the may issue what kind of imagery is going to go with that that's a good question it, it really depends on if some of the folks who are the subjects um, you know who are interviewed are, are okay with being photographed in some way shape or form Otherwise, we, we find an illustrator with a style and tone that's going to match uh, the topic, and we'll, we'll job it out. Seems pretty gutsy to tackle issues like organized crime, especially on the, especially here for yeah. a business publication. Yeah, yeah it is. And, um, you know, we don't do it very often. I think uh, the, the subject matter in general, um, we're all kind of familiar with the, the different types of underworld enterprises that are here, but we it doesn't get illuminated very often. And I think we do so every four to five years we take a plunge back in and then kind of take the temperature of uh of some of these areas and find out where the new you know really like the growth sectors and 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 are in crime are right now so it's it's really from a business point of view um yeah well i think that's i I think that's fascinating and actually we were here to talk a bit about the economy um what do you think uh i know you're a creative director but you know, from your purview at the magazine and just as a private citizen, how do you feel about the economy in Hawaii right now? Um, well, being at a print cup publication and, and what everyone has been saying for the past, I don't know, 20 years, I think it was, uh, there was a scene in Ghostbusters, which is an 80s movie, where Egon says print is dead, right? So we've been ushering in the death of print for, you know, close to 30 years now. Um, so that's something that, that we kind of keep a pulse on. Um, and that's something that we, we look to see our, our, our dollars being funneled away from print publications in general. We're not really seeing it quite yet at a niche publication like HB, similar to, to what we're seeing with um, you know, brick-and-mortar stores. The ones that are going out are the large mass market ones, department stores. Uh, likewise with print, it's, it's newspapers, right, are taking a dive and have been for years. Newspapers and stores like Macy's. But print pubs that are very specialized are doing okay. Um, you got to adapt for sure. Sound, sounds like you're saying that um, print is still alive if you got some some solid sponsors and some solid advertisers exactly. behind your back. 
Well, I want to say thank you so much for um, speaking with us today um, on ThinkTech and our um, roving coverage for ThinkTech Hawaii.